Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Pop here. Today, we're going to learn how to change the brightness of a, a light source anytime we press a button. So in this case, we'll be using proximity prompts. Inside our workspace, I have this house that I pulled straight from the toolbox because uh, I want to add a light source inside of this. So to do so, what we're going to do is spawn in a part. Now this part is going to be uh, where our light source is going to be inside of. So I'm going to go ahead and scale my part so that it kind of covers like the middle part of this house right here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I set the transparency of it to one because I don't want to see the part. If you guys want, make sure to, oh, sorry, before you guys do anything, make sure to anchor your part or else, you know, it's going to fall. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a surface light inside of this part. And then the, uh, it's not facing the right way. I want it to face it on the bottom. Perfect. Adjust the range and the brightness to however you guys would like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually change the clock time of the game to nighttime so that you guys can see it better. Perfect. Oh, just a quick tip, by the way, if you guys do plan, like if you guys have like two story kind of house, uh, make sure you guys uh, untick can collide in your part with the uh, surface light or with the light because we don't want to like, you know, make it look like we're floating on uh, in thin air. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so once that's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just rename my part to light. Um, and then I'll be referencing that inside of my script later. Okay, now that I've finished with all of that, we gotta go ahead and create our buttons that we can interact with. So I'm gonna go ahead and create three parts. One for dim and then one for brightest. Actually, let's scratch that. Instead of three, let's do two. I'll add a proximity prompt in both of our red and red, yellow and red parts. One for dim, one for bright. Adjust the, uh, change the action text, hold duration, max activation distance, object text. Whatever you guys want in the properties, so however you guys want. I'm gonna go ahead and say hold to change light. Let's test it out. Cool, looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our controller parts, the light part, the dim and bright part. We're gonna go ahead and group it together in a model. And let's go ahead and of course, add a script inside of our model. We have a variable which references the model itself and a variable for the surface light, which is inside a part named light. We have two variables for our proximity prompts, which are inside the dim bright parts. We're gonna have a function. Anytime a player triggers the, the dim part, then the brightness of our light will be equal to two. If a player triggers the bright part, then the brightness will be equal to 10. Okay, let's go ahead and test it out. Head over to our yellow part. It's the dim light. Okay, and then to our red part, which is for bright light. And you guys can obviously see the difference. How cool is that? So full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.